Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 19 player review on my channel. Now, I haven't said that sentence in around a month, and the reason is just because I've moved house, um, I haven't had any Wi-Fi for around the last month because there's been some problems setting it up, and then I also went away for a week on holiday, um, so you know, just really haven't had any time or been able to make any FIFA videos, but I'm now back, and I'm going to be uploading basically every single day until the end of FIFA 19 now, hopefully. You know, there'll probably be like the occasional day that I do miss, but apart from that, there will be new videos every single day so anyway in today's play review i'm going to be reviewing 79 rated Jaden sancho now this guy is absolutely killing it in the bundesliga at the moment i think he's got the most assists in the whole of europe and he's got the five star skill moves and he is actually english playing in a foreign league what is very rare on fifa um, but as you can see now moving into the in-game stats he's got that 91 acceleration the 85 sprint speed 92 agility along with 89 balance not very good in the physical passing or shooting category but apart from that this card looks very very good so guys that has been the in-game stats now let's get into the highlights so moving into the highlights now for Inform Sancho, the first pro I could from this card was his agility and this is you know as you would expect with this card he does have 92 agility was absolutely insane and if you do apply the correct chem style to him it will push that agility up to 99. Now I actually had a chem style on him that improved his passing and his um, shooting, I think it's the dead eye if I remember correctly, um, so he went up to around 83 finishing um, but it didn't feel like that in game, he was really bad at finishing, you know I could go on these really good skill runs but I just couldn't finish them off. Um, he did score that really nice long shot though there for me. Um, I hit it into the ground and then he did the long shot into the bottom corner pass at the keeper on the half volley what looked very nice. Um, but apart from that this guy's finishing is just so so bad and it's really annoying you know because he is so good for scaling with you know he's one of the most agile players on the game. Really quick, really good at changing direction and just keeps the ball so close to his feet when dribbling but the only bad thing is you just can't finish off those skill runs um, just because his finishing is so bad even with like you know the correct chem style on him to improve that finishing. Um, but the next pro I could from this card was his pace. Now, as expected as well, this guy's absolutely rapid. He has 91 sprint speed and 85. Um, sorry, 91 acceleration and 85 sprint speed. So very quick off the mark and also very quick once he reaches that top speed. And you can definitely feel it in game. He is faster than most defenders on this game. And then the final pro I could from this card was his ball control. And this sort of goes into the dribbling category as well. Um, you know, as you would expect, this guy's dribbling is really good. And a big part of that is his ball control. As you can see, when doing those skill moves there, it just keeps it so close to his feet. And it just makes it really hard for defenders to dispossess him. Just because, you know, um, with a lot of skillers, they do go on skill runs, but it takes sort of, you know, heavy touches in between the skills. Um, but with Sancho, you really don't need to worry about that. But anyway, guys, this has been the highlights. And now let's get into the overview. So moving into the overview now for Inform Sancho, the first thing I'm going to rate him on is enjoyment. Now I decided to give him an 8.5 out of 10. Now the reason it isn't a 10 out of 10 or a 9.5 out of 10 is just because of that finishing. It's so frustrating as I've already mentioned. You know when you beat loads of players you go on an absolutely insane skill run. You go and take the shot and then it goes into Rose Ed. You know it just isn't fun. Um, but apart from that this card is so fun and I will definitely recommend to go and pick him up. He's only going for around I think it's 12 to 14,000 coins on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. So very cheap and I will definitely recommend to try this card out if you just want to have a bit of fun with scaling um, competitiveness wise I'm not going to rate him too highly I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10 now it isn't any high just because you know the finishing's bad the passing's average um, the physical's okay but he has really nice dribbling and a really good pace so that sort of does boost up to around a 6 out of 10 and then as I've already mentioned when it comes down to scaling this card is one of the best cards on the game and I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10 and then I think a fair rating is an 8 out of 10 overall so guys this has been the player review if you enjoyed this video video and want to see more FIFA 19 player reviews on my channel, leave a like on the video and subscribe. Don't forget to come back to my channel tomorrow for another FIFA 19 player review or squad builder. Um, I'm not really too sure what I'm going to be making yet, but thanks for watching and see you next time.